Interpreting Solubility Curves. In this problem, it says a solution contains 70 grams of NaNO3 at 10 degrees Celsius in 100 grams of H2O. How much more solute can dissolve in the solution? So we know that only a certain amount of it can still dissolve if that's what the question is asking us. So we have 10 degrees at in 100 grams in 100 grams of H2O. So we're going to take a look at this graph. We're going to see 10 degrees Celsius, which was right here, and then go up and find the NaNO3 graph, which is this line right here. So we're going to find it at 10 degrees, which is right here. And it says that the solubility is actually 80 grams per 100 grams of H2O. So how much do we have? We only have 70 grams of NaNO3. So we could still fit, we could still make it to 80 grams, which is the limit of solubility or saturation. And over that is we're going to be super saturated or those, those extra, extra grams won't be soluble in H2O anymore. So we have 80, so we're just, all we have to do is 80 minus 70 grams. And what we get is that we could add 10 more grams of NaNO3 and that could, that could dissolve in this solution. So A is the answer to our problem.